I've just arrived in the seaside town of Scarborough and I'm about to spend 24 hours here with only 50 pounds and that's to pay for my food, my travel around the town and entertainment. So is that enough to see the sights and have a good time in Scarborough or will I run out of money and be stranded here? Let's go to Scarborough and find out. Scarborough is a town on the east coast of England and it's famous for its beaches which I'm on right now and it's also famous for its castle which you can see just behind me up there hopefully I'll be checking it out a little bit later on I'm not sure how much it costs if you can get up there if it's abandoned or what it's even like but I'll be checking it out later on but first up it's time for lunch and I fancy some fish and chips so if you google the best fish and chips in Scarborough this place comes up the lifeboat fish bar but it's closed let's go to the number two spot Papa's fish and chips okay so that was a pretty good fish and chips I didn't really have any space to film but I've got a few shots for you the batter was nice and crispy on the outside of the fish they were using haddock and there was a really strong haddock flavor in this fish the chips were pretty good too crispy on the outside soft in the middle there were really big fat chips here. I think some of the biggest, fattest chips I've ever seen. You got a curry sauce with your meal as well, and I have to say it's one of the strongest tasting curry sauces I've ever had. Really flavorful, really fruity in flavor as well. A little tiny bit of a kick. And I got all that with a bottle of water, which came to nine pounds and 28 pence, which leaves me with 40 pounds and 72 pence left. Let's go do my first activity for the day. Right, so the place I'm going to is called Pease Home Park. It's Scarborough's number one thing to do, according to TripAdvisor, and it's about 25 minutes away. Apparently, it's got some great gardens and a lake inside. So let's hope it's worth it. I'm glad I filled up with fish and chips to give me the energy to do this. And I think I've made it. Pease Home Park. So it looks like you can usually rent boats just there and take them out on the lake but it's closed right now, so it might be out of season. There's an island in the middle of the lake just there that I want to get to, but I don't know how to get there. It's pretty calm and relaxing around here. Just crossing a bridge. I can imagine it would be pretty cool to hire a boat and paddle out into the lake. And there's a load of seating just beside the lake as well, in case if you want to watch, there's people paddling their boats. Actually, I think it might be because there's a performance area just in the middle there and the seating's here so you can watch it. So there's some good news. I found the bridge across to the island in the middle. The bad news is it's closed. Right, so it looks like they have loads of different events here at night because there's lights surrounding the whole park and I'm guessing they light up at night time and I think it will be a pretty good sight to see. If only I would have come in season because I can afford that and I could have taken a boat out onto the lake so that's a pretty worthwhile place to check out I think especially at night when they have events on and also in the summer where you can rent out the boats it's time to move on to my second activity which I'm really excited about but it's another 25 minutes away right the place I'm heading to is there Scarborough Castle I have to say it's a pretty nice walk over to the castle I mean check out the view I think I'm getting close it's just over there and I've made it and I think it costs to go in so let's go see how much it is and I'm in it cost nine pounds for a ticket so I bought one this tower I think it dates back to the 12th century 
it's closed. It's pretty amazing how hundreds and hundreds of years ago people built castles and buildings like this. How would they have done it? It's a mystery. Right, I've just entered another old abandoned section here. Check this out. Now where does this doorway lead? Another abandoned room. Okay, so that was pretty cool to check out that castle. Although it's probably for the views that you get up there because they were incredible. The ruins, there weren't that many, just the big tower that I couldn't really go up, but it's still pretty good to see though. Right, let's head back down to the beach area and to where my hotel is, which is another 20 minutes away. I could get a bus or a taxi, but that would mean wasting money. And I don't want to waste money if I can use it on a great activity. I kind of realised it's pretty hilly here in Scarborough. Right, I've made it back down to the beach area and I think it's time to check in to my hotel. It's rated as pleasant on booking.com. So let's go see what it's like. Check it out, it's the old Victorian tramway, one of the great attractions. Let's see if we can go up it. And we're up to the top and that cost me £1.30 along with the castle at £9 and the fish and chips at £9.28 that leaves me with £30.42 left and I think it's conveniently dropped me off right where my hotel is right behind me there the Royal Hotel Scarborough right let's go and check it out I'll give you a room tour and I'll tell you how much I paid Right, I've got my key, let's go find my room. I'm in number 428, which should be around the corner somewhere. Here we are, right at the end of the hallway. This is a pretty huge room. Right, here it is. Let me give you the room tour and I'll tell you how much I paid afterwards. Okay, so we've got a double bed and a single bed. I'm not sure why that is because I paid for a single room, but we've got three spaces here. We have a TV, a little chair and a desk and a mirror. And we've got some tea and coffee making facilities. And check that out, we've got a coffee machine in here. Never had one of those before. Got the kettle down there, and is that a mini fridge as well? Yep, a mini fridge. On this side, we've got a sofa with a table, another mirror, and a big wardrobe. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we've got some coat hangers, a fan, and we've got some slippers. Spare towels and a hairdryer and some pillows. Let's check out the bathroom. Pretty decent bathroom. Got the toilet there, bath, mirror, sink, heated towel rail. Let's check out the view. Let's see what the view from this room is like. Check that out. A sea view. That's pretty cool. Right, let's check out the bed and see how clean it is. It looks pretty good. So I paid 37 pounds for this room. 
Do you think it's worth it or not? Because I think it is. Right, so by my calculations, I have 30 pounds and 42 pence left for dinner. And I fancy some Italian. So let's go get some. Right, I think I'm gonna go here. Tricolos. So that was a pretty nice dinner in there. I went for the lasagna and a Diet Coke. The lasagna was pretty good. Some nice mozzarella on top, really creamy. And all that came to 13 pounds and 25 pence. A pretty decent price for dinner. Let's head back to the hotel. It's really fancy in this hotel. Check out this chandelier here. The main entrance of this hotel and the lobby area is incredible. The furnishings look amazing. I'm guessing a long time ago, this used to be a really, really fancy hotel, but it's a little bit less fancy now. I'll let you know what my stay was like here tomorrow morning. I'll see you then. Good morning. So it's now the next day. And what was my stay like at the Royal Hotel Scarborough? Well, let's start off with the positives. You got a great view from the window. You had a coffee machine in there, which I made good use of. You got slippers in there as well which was great, I made use of those as well. I got a huge big room with a fridge and even a sofa inside, which was great. And I can imagine in the summertime, you can buy your own drinks back to the room and keep them cool in that fridge. So on the surface, it looked pretty good. But when you started looking at the detail, that's when it started to come apart a little bit. And this is where I move on to the negatives. The whole room seemed to be tilted. So it was higher on one side on, than on the other, which was a little bit annoying. The double bed wasn't quite a double bed either. It was two singles pushed together. So there was a big gap in the middle of the bed and it was tilted as well. So the bed was tilted higher on one side than the other. There were marks and dust on the walls and the bathroom was definitely not the cleanest I've been to. There was a lot of hairs in there that weren't mine. I think they were the last person who stayed there. It definitely needed a good clean. And another annoying little thing the toilet seat didn't stay up and also a lot of the metal things in the bathroom were all rusted especially the mirror and the towel rail but can i complain too much because it was 37 pounds for that room for the night with a sea view as well so i suppose all in all pretty decent right so by my calculations i have 17 pounds and 17 pence left so let's go get some breakfast this is a pretty steep old street that i'm walking up right now really really steep right let's go in here le jardin Right, so that was a pretty nice breakfast in there. I went for the breakfast with a pot of tea and that came to 10 pounds. With the breakfast, you got bacon, sausage, egg, beans, tomatoes, got fried bread and toast. And it was all pretty delicious, so well worth it. So that means I have seven pounds and 17 pence left. So let's go check out the piers. It's pretty good having a morning stroll by the beach. You get to smell the nice sea air. You've got an RNLI station here for the lifeboats. I'm not really too sure what's at the end of this pier, but we've got some fishing cages for the fishermen. There's not really that much at the end of this one. I mean, there's sort of one over there with a lighthouse on it just behind me. Let's try and get to that one. Quite a lot of the shops and the amusements are open pretty early here. I was in Blackpool and over there, they were closed at about 10.30 in the morning. But here, they're open. Right, to get to the lighthouse, I think you have to go up this pier behind me. Let's do it. And I've reached the end of the pier with the lighthouse. There's also a gun, a big naval gun just behind me there. There is just one more pier just behind me though that I think goes a little bit further out. So let's check out that one. The piers out here in Scarborough seem to be a little bit different to the ones in Blackpool. The ones in Blackpool have rides, cafes, but the ones here seem to be a little bit more functional with boats. Let's go up the stairs and see where they lead. What a view from here. Check this out. I think this last pier is the best one to go on because you get to walk on this really high bit next to the edge of the sea. And it goes out pretty far too. But it is pretty windy out here though. Right, I think I've reached the furthest point you can reach out here. And it's pretty cool to see this view. There is one thing that I think I definitely need to do that I haven't done yet. And I think I have enough money. So let's go do it. An ice cream and a walk along the beach. Got two flakes on this one. 
Mmm, delicious. So this costs £2.20, which I think is a bargain. Last bite. Mmm. When the tide goes out, it goes out pretty far here. Check it out, the lighthouse that I went to earlier on today, just behind me there. Right, so I'm £2.20 down, which means I've got £4.97 left. And there's only one thing left to do with my last bit of money. So let's go do it. Donuts. Hmm. The donuts were absolutely delicious. They cost three pounds for four, which leaves me with one pound and 97 pence left. But it's the end of my time now here in Scarborough. So where should I go for my next 24 hours and what should be my budget? Comment below. I've come right out to the edge of the sea to enjoy it one last time before I go. I really have got a good time here in Scarborough. If you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below. Click on subscribe to come along for the next 24 hours and I'll see you in the next video.